Anthony, have you eaten lunch yet? No. Yeah, there's, there's this great place not too far from here. It's down on um, 55th Street. It's over oh, there. You really? gotta check it out, dude. It's awesome. Oh, all right. What was the name of that place again? Hey, guys. Did Alex tell you about the new restaurant that opened up? Oh, which That's one? Right. No, I've got the website right here. Oh, that looks neat. Noodles? Pretty cool. Okay. Mm. We'll check it out. Thank, Thank you. Anthony. That looks good. Yeah, it does. I'm hungry now. Mm. Let's go. All right. Hey guys, um, how was the restaurant you tried out? How was it? Uh, it was... Alright. Yeah? Really? Just alright? Hi, Anthony. <laughs> 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 no, I was just kidding. It was good. It was good. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was good. It was just all right. kidding. Hi, <laughs> Anthony. Yeah, it was good. Awesome. Thanks, for, mm -hmm. thanks for sending us that information. Yeah, yeah you're it welcome. Was, it was awesome. The noodles were awesome. Come on, you just finished the whole bowl. He finished the whole bowl. He was just kidding. He was taking pictures of it. It was really nice. Oh, he was? Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for sending us that information. You're welcome. Anytime. Anytime, guys. What do you do when you discover something really great? Something, you know, um, that is worth letting other people know about, you know? Wouldn't you just want to share that information with your friends and family? I know my immediate reaction is always, uh, who can I tell? Uh, come on, everybody. Um, I'd like to tell the whole world if I can. From restaurants to movies and where to shop, we share information freely. In fact, we are helping to market these businesses that we like without even being paid. Now, can you imagine if you and I were to calculate how much money uh, you know, we would be making from sending referrals to restaurants and movies and uh, car dealerships or fl uh, flower, um, flower shops, right? Can you imagine how much money we would be you know, be making by now if we were paid for sending people over, right? So, uh, imagine how much of word of mouth we are all creating when we tell one person who then later on goes and tell another person and then the other person tells another person and on and on. It's been around for ages, folks. It's not a new concept and it's called word of mouth marketing. And I truly believe that word of mouth is the most powerful marketing strategy there is out there. Imagine that because nothing beats the warm referrals, especially if referrals come from your friends because you trust them more than you trust people that you don't know, right? But some of us may wonder how word of mouth is used in this digital age where social media and videos are the most talked about marketing strategies out there. So the question I am addressing today is simply, why word of mouth is still in style? Well, before I even answer that, I'm going to share with you three great representations or examples of how word of mouth is used these days. Now, the first great example of word of mouth is reviews. You and I do reviews often, but sometimes we don't realize that we, we are reviewing somebody. Now, have you heard of Angie's List? Members of Angie's List community leave reviews for people they have hired and other members of the community use those reviews as a guide to who they, do they want to choose to hire for their next plumbing job or a babysitting uh, job or um, the gardener. What about Zaga or Yelp? Have you used either one to check out the reviews of your favorite restaurant? You can definitely do a trial and error and do loads of tasting at all the restaurants that you want to try out, but wouldn't that take forever and cost too much money? Number two are recommendations. One great example of this would be LinkedIn's recommendations. You see, before I decide who I would like to work with in a business project these days, I find that I'm more inclined to check out their LinkedIn profile to learn more about them and what they do. In addition to endorsements, I kind of pay extra close attention to the recommendations received by the individuals. I feel that these recommendations often help give me a genuine insight on um, the individual itself and it allows me to see if there's any connection between uh, the information on their, uh, on their LinkedIn profile and what other people are saying about them. 
Number three, a great example of word of mouth that is being used these days is via social media. Social media, for one, has certainly made it a lot easier and faster for us to share information with the masses. We share anytime, anyway, and everywhere, and to literally anyone in the world. People are sharing all sorts of information with one another on various social networking sites. When they like a restaurant, they tell others about it. They share the dining experience. What was it that they ate that was good or not good? The experience with the service, the awesome location, and on and on and on. Another great um, word of mouth found on social media these days are using mentions. Mentions on social networking sites is just you know. Uh, mentioning and highlighting or giving a spotlight to the person that you're talking to or uh, talking about or you know you, if you want to make a referral to a business you use mentions in uh, most social networking sites and that it, in itself is word of mouth in action so have you experienced any of the examples above these are all great examples of word of mouth in action and um, these are exactly the word of mouth action that is still in style, even in this digital age. In my professional opinion, it is still the most powerful marketing strategy out there. And there's a whole lot more going on in this digital age, sometimes more often than we can handle. The reason word of mouth is so compelling still today is because the information we are sharing often comes from um, a very reliable person, uh, a warm contact, somebody you know for, for a long time, or you know, you have trust. That's why it's still so very, very compelling. Now, I would really like to hear how much and how often do you engage in word of mouth for your business? One place that I use it often is at networking events. The other one is right here in my own videos because in the videos, it's a great form of word of mouth marketing, especially because, well, in this video itself, I've talked about um, Zagat, Yelp, LinkedIn, and Gs List. That in itself is just word of mouth, folks. What about you? I am sure you are just as passionate as I am about word of mouth. So why don't you send me some of your comments below and share with me and our Zepsas TV viewers um, what you like best about it. So folks, thank you for watching. This is Zev Zen and you're watching Zepsas TV, the show that brings you a dash of passion to the perfect blend of ingredients for your success in business and in life. Until the next episode, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.